All right, so this is going to be React Native Text Recognition. I'm using React Native CLI, so this is not going to be working on Expo. Uh, before we start, we need to use some libraries for this. And the first one is the React Native Text Recognition. We're going to be using this, and it's built with the Firebase text recognition. It's an on-device text recognition, so we're not going to be sending images over the internet. Don't worry, it's an on-device one, so it's going to be wor working. It's also going to work for Android and iOS. And if anyone wants to see the source code, well, how it's used, you can check the, the official Firebase text recognition. You see the link here. And you can see how it's how you can call it natively if you're a Android or iOS developer. Now, this npm package is going to be using it, so we are going to be installing it. npm i React Native Text Recognition. And the second thing we're going to be using is the React Native Image Picker. This library basically allows us to open the camera or open the photo. The for, your photos from your phone, the photo library, and select an image. We're going to be using the launch image library, and for the camera, I'm going to explain it when I get to it, to why I recommend using the React Native camera instead of this one. So, you also need to install this, so you say npm install React Native image picker. And now, let's see what we need to do. So, we need the React Native image picker so we're going to be calling this one we're going to import the launch image library and since we want to call this at the beginning we need a use effect and a use state we would say use effect and a use state now we're going to be selecting an image we're going to say image that image to e equals to use state we're going to say null as at the beginning and since we want it to run once only we're going to call use effect with the empty dependency array. And we're going to say launch image library. We're going to give it an empty object for options. You can check the documentation if you want to know more. And we're going to say set image. So the output of this will be stored inside the set image. And we need another use effect to check when the image changed. So we're going to give the we're going to feed the dependency array an image, this state. And we're going to check if image exists. Let's console.log what's happening. So console.log image. And let's try it out on our Android emulator. So the photo library basically opens. We can select the image. I, download a I download, downloaded a sample text image. We just download sample text and we get this we get an object that has assets and then an array so you can process you can select multiple stuff at once uh, and this this object basically assets has an array that has file name it has file size height type and the most important thing the URI we need this URI to give to our text recognition so that it can process the image and give us and feed us back the text. So we're gonna go to the React Native text recognition and we're gonna import it. Import text recognition and we're gonna call it. We're gonna say result here. And in this recognize, we're gonna say image dot assets and since this is an array we're going to call it zero from zero so we want the first image that we selected and then we call uri okay we're going to log the result and we're going to put it in a state so we're going to create a new state we're going to call it text that text is equal to u state and we're going to give it a null at the beginning we're going to say set text and we're going to give it the result. Okay. Um, it needs, it's an async function. So let's create the async function. 
and this is a cool trick if you didn't know you can create an async function like this and don't just call it with empty parentheses here and we're gonna place the entire text here and now it should work and let's display the process text here so we're gonna say text process actually let's just display the empty text here uh, like this actually I like it like this okay, let me just if text then let's say text and if text is null then we're just gonna display nothing basically and let's go open our app let's kill these guys reload okay we select our item this is a an image that says sample text we open it it's gonna feed it to the trained models so it can recognize the text and let's say console.log result and there you go sample text so it processed the image it scanned the text and it gives you here the sample text now that's it that's basically it that's how it's working but for example if you want to open a camera and take a picture and then feed it you can also do that with the launch camera function but there's a problem uh, we cannot control the orientation with the launch camera so i recommend that you use the react native camera when you're taking pictures and that you use the fix orientation prop fix orientation android only boolean true or false so you want to say fix orientation true in order to fix the orientation of your camera that's opened so that this part the text recognition recognize knows uh if the phone is rotated for example 90 degrees or 180 degrees maybe it's flipped upside down the phone needs to know that so that it can process the text properly so if you're opening the camera if you're opening the camera and taking in a photo and processing it use the react native camera library and and give it a fix orientation this prop to true and that's how you can process the image because the launch image from the react native image picker will not work and that's it it's simple it's this like 30 lines of code and everything is working now you know how to use text recognition in react native